Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. And what a happy day it is today. So I had to do something on this because we just, well, really, Cindy saw it. I just caught a glimpse. Um, we were going through Vegas the other day, and there was something really unusual being carried. Actually, it was on a truck that was stopped in a not good spot on the highway. Yeah, it, it seemed really, really strange. But I saw you guys have seen those DARPA dogs, and they had some of those DARPA dogs on there, and they were huge, scary. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and by the way, they still have a lot of tanks out there, um, you know, around Nellis. And we had seen before, we saw some uh, missile like launchers that were over there as well so there's still a lot going on over in that area and this is a, a, a relatively new um, popular mechanics article the Air Force is testing robo guard dogs to protect its planes the dogs are unarmed for now and so this one looks pretty big but what Cindy saw was even bigger no these were like the big daddy ones I mean they're huge so take a, a truck you know any given truck and put legs on that instead of metal around it and there you got one and there was four of those being carried yeah there was four it was huge it was it was scary looking so wow you know this is pretty creepy stuff the u.s air force recently used dog-like robots at a major battle exercise and that's probably what we saw um the ghost robotics vision 60 is being tested the Austrian Army, Australian Army, and the U.S. Air Force for patrol and security duties. A robot sentry would help security teams patrol improvised air bases, alerting them to saboteurs and other threats. So as we read the article, we see the U.S. Air Force trotted out a robotic dog during a major exercise last weekend at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. The Ghost Robotics Vision 60 robot, a four-legged dog-like robot, was seen alongside base security personnel. The service is apparently testing the robo-dogs as a way to patrol small battle spaces and provide needed data resources. The exercise was part of a test of the Advanced Battle Management System, ABMS, an Air Force project designed to provide command control and senior fusion not only for U.S. Air Force units, but for other services and potentially for allied military forces. ABMS was also used to provide Air Force sensor data to a U.S. Army howitzer that shot down an incoming simulated cruise missile. So this is what we did see going on. Now this is a fraction of the size oh, yeah. of what uh, what Cindy saw You know, loaded up. Again, four of them loaded up on a big uh, tractor trailer. You know, a standard long uh, tractor trailer had four. They looked to be about the size of a pickup truck. But this, you know, four legs to walk around like a robo dog. And one part of the exercise, an Air Force LC-130 Hercules transport flew from Buckley Air Force Base in Colorado to Nellis, carrying with it airmen from the 621st Contingency Response Wing. Once on the ground, the airmen released the robo hounds. Our defenders employed the robo dogs, said Master Sergeant Lee Boston, 321st CRS Loadmaster and the CR Team Chief for the exercise. These robo dogs are new technology that we're testing as part of the exercise. The dogs give us the visuals in the area while keeping our defenders closer to the aircraft. And, you know, here's one being shown uh, on an exercise on September 1st of this year. And there is video here. It's really creepy, honestly, to watch this video and see that thing come out from in the back of a tree. Um, and this one is from the Australian Army's Ghost Robotics Team. So military robots are inevitable and robots that mimic actual animals and roles for those animals, in this case, military working dogs, will probably be adopted quickly. I think they're already there. So if you see a dog go by you the size of a tank, uh, you, you know what it is. Yeah, it was. It seems like it was deliberately made to be intimidating. So if you did see this thing from across the way, it would absolutely, I mean, one could may wet their pants. It was so 
It was intimidating. That To me, that seemed very deliberate. So these quote-unquote dogs can patrol wider areas than real dogs, can't be killed or injured, and can provide soldiers and airmen with eyes on the target in many ways real dogs can't. The one thing they lack is teeth. For now. <laughs> Yikes. So we wanted to just share that with you guys. And, you know, there's a lot to talk about. We're going to start catching up on our work. Uh, we know we haven't been producing too much because we've been just so busy with other things going on, doing our own preparations in many ways. Um, but we had to share this because, you know, we saw it firsthand and we saw the exercises too. And we knew that they weren't typical. But these aren't typical times. No, they're not. They're not. Times are changing. Things are going to look very different soon. Most definitely. So keep preparing as best as you can. Always, you know, try to work together with your neighbors and, and people locally. Support each other in every way you can. Get outside the system as much as possible. Barter and trade. And, you know, set up provisions, again, with the people in your immediate family, immediate area, friends, neighbors, things like that. Uh, for when, you know, it really does hit the fan big time. Yeah, because you, you are going to be very important where you're at. So you guys take very good care of yourselves. God bless and namaste. God bless, guys. Namaste.